Hi folks, Chris Voss here from thechrisvossshow.com, thechrisvossshow.com. We're going to be unboxing the new Apple TV. This is the new version that's come out in early 2012. It's the 1080p version. <clears throat> All prior versions have been 720p. So this will work with your um, this will work with your 1080p HD TV. You can see here it's a pretty simple box. Uh, that's the one thing about their packaging is their uh, keep it pretty simple with the Apple product but uh, nonetheless let's go ahead and unbox it and get ideas to what's in here. I pulled the shrink wrap off so we don't have to do the fight with it <coughs> and there we have it. Video done. No I'm just kidding. Um, the uh, So there's our Apple TV. You can see it looks really pretty. Looks like we've got a tab to pull this thing out and it uh, looks really nice. It's almost so pretty I should probably frame it and just leave it in the box. So it looks like it's got an easy pull out with a plastic cover and a base to it and you can easily and violently just rip that off <clears throat> looks like we've got another pull out with an Apple TV remote controller which uh, these are pretty simple and easy to use and of course you can work them with iTunes and other things if you have a Macintosh which is really nice let's see what else we've got in here got a few other toys looks like we've got a long simplified power cord one thing I like about these Apple products now is they don't have these huge power adapters. Maybe they have them on the inside. It looks like it's got a really long power cord, which is really nice. I'm not sure how long that is. It might be six to ten feet. Um, so we've got that. Everything's got a little pull-out tab, and we've got an ITV or an Apple TV, I should say, setup guide, and it's got a nice little plastic cover on it. Let's see if we can't pull that off. And uh, it looks like we got a couple things. Oh, we got some stickers. Some Apple stickers. Ooh, pretty. So we got some Apple stickers. Looks like some important legalese. And uh, looks like we've got how to set up the Apple TV, which is really cool. And let's take a look at the Apple TV device. We're going to violently rip off the plastic, much like what you would on Christmas morning. Looks like I'm going to pull something out here, which is, oh, this is a protector for the outside edges so that it stays nice and sharp during shipping. So very beautiful looking Apple TV there and uh, very beautiful looking sides. That's really smart. They put the uh, tape on there to make sure that uh, it stays nice and pretty and <laughs> very beautiful looking. Let's take a look at the back. Looks like in the back we have optical audio which is really important. Looks like we have your Wi-Fi plug-in of course and your HDMI Looks like we have a smaller, uh, I'm not sure what this is, a smaller HDMI output, I think, or USB output, a small mini micro USB. Uh, we'll find out more about what that's about. And then, of course, we've got a plug-in for thing. So that's really it. It's very simple, easy to use. And if you want, you can use it as a hockey puck or frisbee to throw to your friends. No, don't. Don't do that. Trust me. That's probably not good a, a good idea. It's got a nice bottom where... It's got a kind of rubberized grommet to it so that it's not going to slide around on your desk and fall off and stuff. So, we're going to plug it in, try it out, and uh, see what we see. Hi folks. Okay, so we've hooked up the Apple TV to my 1080p. And of course, this is the latest version of, I believe, the third generation of Apple TV, which uh, basically gives you 1080p access uh, or output to your uh, 1080p TV, so we've hooked it up. Um, I'm really impressed. The screen looks really nice. It's very beautiful. Now, if you're buying the Apple TV, uh, don't be buying it to be looking for a lot of content, unless you're maybe looking for sports content you're willing to pay extra for. Um, if you have Netflix and you have Netflix streaming, yeah, that's great. If you have a lot of movies, TV shows that you're buying on Apple, uh, on your Apple account, those are really great too. What I mostly bought Apple TV for is to be able to broadcast without hooking wires into my TV. There is a way to do that with the iPad and the iPhone. You can buy an adapter for about 35 bucks and plug it in to the HDMI output of your uh, cable to your TV and you can broadcast, basically mirror what's on your iPad to your TV. Well that becomes a little cumbersome and a pain in the butt to always have to plug it in and blah blah blah. And it is really, 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 really nice to have your computer, your iPad hands free 
uh, cable free from your TV but still be able to broadcast it onto your TV. In fact, I'm getting kind of lazy where I actually like to use my iPad, but I'm, I guess I'm old. I don't like looking at small stuff anymore and I like to look at, at it really huge on the screen, which you'll see in a second. Now, what's really nice is it'll work, it'll bring in all your iTunes albums, and what's really nice too is you can hook this up to iMatch, if you're not familiar with iMatch, um, or Apple Match, um, you can hook this into all your music that you have on the, um, uh, on the web, and so you can essentially have, uh, you can essentially uh, assign different rooms, of course, if you have different ones. Um, what's really cool is you can update the software from here, which is really nice. Um, and uh, it works really well. It's very seamless and it's separate. Once you get in, you put in your things. What's really cool is you can create a screensaver, which I really like because a lot of times I do a lot of work on the computer and I actually have a HDTV in my office. And I just like to use it as background kind of noise, if you will, but not really noise, but just something to kind of look at every now and then to kind of break up the monotony of what I'm doing and give me a different perspective. So I use the screensaver a lot, which is really nice to put my photo stream in. So if you're using photo stream with your Apple products, you can be able to pull in those pictures and it will play those as a screensaver, which is really nice. You have access to the iTunes store, audio, video. Uh, TV shows that you may have bought. What's really nice is you have access to AirPlay. Access to AirPlay gives it basically so that you can have your um, iPad and your iPhone be able to broadcast on your thing. I'll show you how that works. And what's really cool is it's very quick and easy to do. You go onto your iPad or your iPhone once you've hooked this in and you slide to the left where you would normally find the volume and the music buttons and you'll see a little icon that will basically show you that you can take and do um, airplay and the icon will look something like this icon here on the far left hand upper right hand corner you see and once you click on that you can uh, actually tell the iPad or iPhone to begin mirroring so what you're seeing here before you is actually my iPad mirroring so you can see here I've got a game loaded up which is a very beautiful game called uh, Infinity Blade 2 you can see if I pop out of this you can see the desktop on my iPad, which is really nice. Now, I was using a plug-in to uh, plug in directly to my i uh, directly from my iPad to my TV. What I've noticed is that some games will actually play much better in a wider screen than you would get in with the plug-in. So you can see here, this is uh, pretty awesome to be able to see a game on your screen and be able to play it and be able to do whatever you want to do. And of course the other beautiful part of this is I can run this through my stereo system, my home theater system, and I'll have this up very loud of course, but I can run this through my home speakers and be able to really enjoy the experience of the expensive beautiful infinities that I have um, to take and have as my speakers. So really cool that way. Um, and a lot of games are built to where they can really be played on the um, uh, be, be played on the uh, uh, iPad and uh, other things. So uh, really impressed with the way it lays out and it lays out much better linking it this way than it does by cord um, to where you can really see stuff and really enjoy stuff and it really is nice to be able to see even just simple things like taking your um, taking your uh, Twitter feed and being able to put it on the big screen. It's a lot nicer to take and look at as opposed to trying to look into the, the, the small screen that you may see on your uh, on your iPad. So I really enjoy it from that avenue. And then of course whenever you want to de take and detach it, you can take and do it too. What it, I love about it also is sometimes I like to go through my photos that I take and and make and I like to kind of pre-see how they look on the big screen and what's really nice is you can see how well your photos look in a giant format and look how much better that looks than trying to see it um, and I can take and get a really good look at it as opposed to trying to see it in a much smaller format that you might see on the iPad that's not quite as fun is it so uh, I really love the Apple TV and uh, honestly if you're gonna buy Apple TV you should buy it for this reason is to be able to broadcast uh, be able to mirror if you will your uh, iPad um, you're not gonna find a lot of content on the thing in fact I bought a Bluetooth uh, a Sony uh, actually blu-ray 
uh, thing, and I actually have more content on it because it, what it has on it is has Hulu Plus, and I'm a big Hulu Plus fan. Now, <clears throat> what is really nice is you can hook in your different computers to it, and it will pull in different movies you can buy. You can see some of the ones that I bought. I'm not a real big movie buyer. Uh, it'll pull in your music to where you can play your music, and you can uh, do different playlists and everything else with your music, shuffle songs, all that sort of good stuff, which is really cool. Uh, it's really nice to be able to play your music in the background and have access to it. I'm a big Spotify fan, so that doesn't really work for me. Now, when it comes to TV shows and movies, um, a lot of this stuff you're going to end up buying. Uh, for example, one thing that's interesting is with Walking Dead, if you subscribe to uh, Netflix, uh, their streaming service, you can get Walking Dead for pretty much for free. I mean, technically you have to pay for their service, but you can get it for free along with DVDs and everything else depending on which package you buy but here on Apple TV if you want to do Walking Dead you're going to end up paying a pretty good boatload of money now you will be getting it at 1080p so uh, you might not be getting it for the same in uh, coming out of Netflix depending upon where you're getting at it now of course you can get Netflix here on you can see here where you can get Netflix you can see you can also access several sports channels you will have to pay for them if you want access to those sports channels you can get several different movie trailers, which is kind of cool. Uh, one thing I do like is you do have radio, and so if you want to tune into different stations, you can do that, which you know you can find most on any uh, different mediums that you have. They have things. One thing I really liked is I'm a big um, Adam Carolla fan, and uh, I love podcasts. Uh, maybe you do too. And so I use Adam Carolla's iPhone thing to listen to his um, to his broadcasts. I'm a big Howard Stern fan too. I wish he would do podcasts, but unfortunately that won't work. But what's really nice is with Adam Carolla and several other podcasts that seem to can't get out of whatever we need to do. Let's see, top podcasts. Okay, so what it's doing is it's featuring um, some of the things. So you see some of the top podcasts you can have access to, video and audio, which is really nice here. Um, if you're a real big podcast person, this is definitely for you, of course. And <clears throat> Uh, what I was really impressed with, I've never been a Vimeo fan, I've never really gotten Vimeo, but Vimeo I actually have found, through the blessing of 1080p, is a great place to really experience some really artistic and beautifully done HD channels uh, and different videos, short films, uh, very beautiful, elegant looking uh, images that, that uh, can really blow you away in the experience that you'll have with them. Uh, I've actually become a real big Vimeo fan because of Apple TV. Now keep in mind, you're not looking at huge amounts of content that's going to keep you or maybe your kids uh, endless hours unless you pay a lot of money to buy films. At that point I just say buy Netflix and away you go. There's uh, Wall Street Journal Live here. You've got PhotoStream, MobileMe, and Flickr. Flickr is kind of nice. With PhotoStream you've got access to, of course, all your photos that you might take and do and uh, what's really nice is you can see them, uh, you can click on them, you can blow them up. Um, it sucks in everything from your photo stream. And one thing I really like about it is it really features the photos that I love. As you can see, I love my dogs. And um, I kind of like my little children. And uh, so I can enjoy their things and play different things. Uh, different. So let me walk you through the movies. Uh, the one thing I hate about all the reviews of Apple TV is you never get to see the menus or what's really going on. Now, with with movies, I mean, you can buy movies. Um, they're sometimes a little bit cheaper than Hulu. Sometimes they have stuff that Hulu doesn't, et cetera, et cetera. Um, they have stuff that's categorized, um, if that's your thing. Um, if you're a big movie buyer, especially Apple TV movies um, through Apple, um, then this is the thing for you if you're a big music buyer of Apple TV. I gotta be honest with you, the only point I see in buying Apple TV for me is to be able to broadcast a new iPad 3 which is very beautiful onto a 1080p screen or to broadcast your iPad 2 onto a 1080 screen or 720 screen uh, and be able to play games on your giant big screen HDTV. If you don't have that, I don't really think it's worth throwing down a hundred bucks for it. Um, the content is really limited. Uh, I'm more impressed with my Sony uh, Blu-ray player that has Hulu Plus on it because I can get all the movies and shows that I want, TV shows that I really like on Hulu Plus as opposed to the limited features that are here on uh, 
Apple TV. Now, if you like Netflix, that's really cool, but I love Netflix and Hulu TV. Uh, if you like podcasts, there's plenty of material here. You're basically buying not really a, a thing to look at content or buying content that you would expect like from a cable service. You're actually just buying access to a lot of the stuff that you have on your iTunes account. And for the most part, your photo stream also. And then uh, you've got some podcasts, some Vimeo, if you want to look at scores on uh, MLB, NBA, you can take a look at some of the scores. They give you the scores of today's games, recaps, and of course you can get into some deeper stuff if you want to do that. Uh, and you subscribe to their services. I'm not real big into this sort of thing. They don't have the NFL on here actually. Um, so I, I like it. It's pretty great. I mean, for a hundred bucks, you're basically buying something that will automatically broadcast your iPad or your iPhone. Especially if you have a really one of the new I, iPads. This is going to look great on your big screen. You can take it and broadcast it. So. I'd recommend it from that level, but please don't buy the Apple TV expecting content. I hear a lot of complaints from people who buy it thinking it's a Roku, thinking it's a Bluetooth player, or Blu-ray player, I should say, excuse me, this can have Hulu Plus and other features on it. If you're looking for something like that, you already subscribed to Hulu Plus, I would recommend just sticking with a Blu-ray player that you can take and buy. I bought one for 88 bucks the other day from Sony for another room, and uh, it has... Hulu Plus on it has a bunch of different features. I'm not disappointed in any way, shape, or form with the Apple TV. I really like it. I really like broadcasting my iPad and my iPhone up to the big screen. I really love that. I love playing games on the big screen. I get tired of playing games and trying to stare into that small screen, for, even for me. And so to be able to put it on the big HD TV that you might have, I think mine's a 60 inch. I really love that experience as opposed to trying to look into the little. Uh, iPhone or iPad. I mean, technically, if you don't have an iPad and you just have an iPhone, this is really great to broadcast on your HD because you don't have to look in that stupid little iPhone screen to play a beautiful game. So be sure to check it out. I highly recommend it as a product if you fit into the formats that we talked about. Um, I'm not disappointed at all. I really like it. It's not a huge content provider like uh, Boxy and other things, but uh, it is going to give you access if you're buying Apple movies, Apple games, Apple TV shows. Um, and I love having access to my music. It'll play my music. And, of course, if you have a nice stereo home theater system like mine, it can play the music through the stereo system, which is really nice. Now, there's also a remote that you can get, and, of course, it automatically comes with your iPad and your iPhone, where you can have the remote to take and play on your um uh, on your iPad or iPhone, which is really nice. It'll access your uh, thing, and you can take and play the remote teamed with the uh, teamed with your Apple TV, which is really nice. Anyway, be sure to check it out. Be sure to check back to the ChrisVossShow.com and check back often.